And then Mr. B. Malarkey says, guys, it may be that I'm on Mars, but do we sign Nate Solder for cheap to help Chooks and more develop? See? I, what did I He's 34 and we're not starting him. That was the cat from uh, uh, New England. Yeah, I remember Nate, man. So he oh, would be man. the O-line whisperer, I like guess yeah. we were talking about with RG3. For me, like I said, my biggest issue is just we've paid Chooks. So that is one part of it where he's not coming off. And then with Dan Moore, I don't know, man. I, he gave me enough last year that make it intriguing enough for me to see him this year, if that makes yeah. sense. Like, he wasn't perfect last year. He wasn't always good last year. He had some moments last year where it was bad. But as a whole, I thought the way that he finished – and his overall body of work, it was enough for me to say, you know what? Yes, this dude should get another opportunity. You want to see him in training camp. You want to see him in the preseason. I think that he's going to be fine, personally. Yeah. See what he does in training camp and yeah. preseason before you start thinking about this stuff. Yeah. That's my take. Because there are some other, like Dwayne Brown. Yeah, he's another one. But he wouldn't like, be a bad option. We don't need to do that right now nah. if we got a young Dan Moore who can go. Yeah. That, yeah. But it really depends on how Dan is. Like, during OTAs, he's like I said with the O line, it's hard to judge them during that time frame. But if you're talking about physique wise, he looked great. He wasn't coming in here overweight or too light or anything like that. He looked like he had a good offseason. But yeah, you want to see him in pads, but you want to see him play. So yeah, I don't I don't, don't want to move on him just yet, man.